Hi guys, how are we all doing? Four weeks since the 103 kilometer trail race at Tarawera Ultra Marathon. And I thought, probably a good time to do a bit of an update on where my running's at, how the recovery has been. So just gonna talk a little bit about that on this run. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I have, what was that? Sorry, I have committed a cardinal sin coming back from a peak race or a long distance event I have allowed my ego to take control I've ignored some very important key factors and the recovery is probably not where it should be four weeks after the 103 kilometers Now just to bring you up to speed, I had two weeks off after Tarawera. I had that one park run where 46 minutes, not much quicker than a walk really. And that was ticking off another of my 2023 goals. And that was to have some downtime and the body appreciated it. Did not think much about running. got back to Australia had my first run back at Park Run exactly two weeks after Tarawera and I ran too fast and for that next week I just ran too fast I did 60 kilometers for the week and wasn't so much the mileage it was the pace of the runs I had allowed my ego to take over thinking that Oh, two weeks is enough. The body will be right. I'll just get back into normal running now. Uh -uh. Thanks, mate. No worries. Earlier this week, Monday and Tuesday, I just felt like utter shit. And I thought to myself, what's going on? Trish made me realise that uh, I was being a little bit hard on myself. And to remember that I just run a 100k race, I'm 56, not 26, take a little bit of time. And she was exactly right. So I've had the last two days off, and it's now, as I said, Friday, just having an easy run. It's very humid, very soupy running through this humidity. My breathing's very laboured. Now it wasn't until that dig in the ribs from Trish that made me realize that I should have a look at the numbers from that first week back running. And that told the story. My heart rate was jumping quite noticeably after about 20 to 30 minutes in each run. And what that was telling me, if I'd taken notice at the time, was that the body was tired. It wasn't ready to be putting the stresses that I put on it in that week, that soon. I've taken a bit of a chill pill the last few days. It's made me reevaluate my running and what I'll do from here on in. But just getting back to Tarawera and the recovery, I always knew I was gonna take a couple of weeks after Tarawera to have a break. I told so many people leading into Tarawera. I'm just gonna walk guys because I'm not gonna push it. I told so many people before Tarawera that the body was just tired. I was just craving a break. And they may have contributed to some of that tiredness in Tarawera. It's been a combination of the last 14, 15 months where I did training block on training block on training block and didn't really have a good rest. I had that 100k training block at the beginning of 2022 when I was getting ready for UTA 100, which then got 
postponed. I then jumped straight into a marathon training block, got COVID, still ran the marathon. Then I jumped into another marathon training block and ran that sub three at the Melbourne Marathon and then jumped straight into the 100K training block for Tarawera. The body just didn't have time to recover. I was craving a break. Now getting back to the recovery now and letting my ego and my ignorance to following the numbers get in the way. I just haven't listened to my own advice. I'm happy to share my advice and experience with people. But when it comes to accepting my own advice, well, I've just uh, zoned out completely. A real reality check, a re-evaluation of my running. I've said so many times here on the channel, listen to your body, it knows best. Well, I haven't in this recovery period and I'm now paying the price for it. Those little niggles that I had leading into Tarawera, I haven't gone away because I didn't pay enough attention to that recovery. Now when I say niggles, one out of 10, very minor, but it'd be nice not to have them. So that's another reason why it's just all about being relaxed now, taking things easy. Make sure the body gets really recovered another hill before I step into another serious training block. So the overriding message that I can share with you guys about recovery after a peak race or a long distance event is just listen to the body. The body knows best and don't force it. I know there's some runners who can back it up and just get out there the next day as if they hadn't run a long race. But I'm 56, I don't bounce as well as I used to. Listen to the body guys number one most important thing after a peak race or a long distance event. Before I wrap this video up guys there were a couple of questions to the Tarawera videos here that I did make after our trip to New Zealand. And I've got to say thank you to everyone who watched those videos. Hope you enjoyed them. I really did appreciate all the favourable comments on all the videos I made from New Zealand. I really appreciate everyone taking the time to watch them. Now the questions from Tarawera. One was about strength training and the other one was about my taper. I think the question for strength training was would in future I do strength training before tackling an event like that. I've said previously that I don't have a lot of time to fit strength training into my routine, but if I was going to do another event like that, absolutely. Strength training is vitally important for those type of events. And I was found lacking, especially on the hills, mid-race, or really from mid-race, yeah. Now the other question about my taper, I think it came from Alan, who was there at the shakeout run, and he asked, did I think I was well rested, or rested enough? As I said earlier in the video, guys, I was craving a rest leading into Tarawera, but I had a three-week taper, I still felt fresh. Even though the body was tired, I think I contradict myself a bit there, but even though I felt tired from all the training blocks that I've done back to back, morning. I still did feel well rested and fresh enough. I think if I had to change anything, it'd be not doing those training blocks back to back. 
especially at my age. Like, I just can't do it anymore. I just can't keep punishing the body and expecting it to perform at its optimum. It's not gonna happen. So I hope that answered those questions. Again, guys, thanks for watching this video. Really do appreciate it. That's it for now. Wherever you are, run well, run safe, and I'll see you in the next video.